Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of unit fractions and shapes. This is standard 3.6e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Derek is drawing two, that's an important word right there, congruent figures, and then shaded one-fourth each, which figures could be the ones that Derek drew and shaded. All right, so they need to be two congruent figures. Each of them need to be one-fourth of the figure. First, let's, let's really talk about this word congruent. So when two shapes are congruent, that means they are identical. We're looking specifically at the same size, and we want them to obviously be the same shape. And if they are the same size and the same shape, we can call them congruent. Now, the reason why that's important is take a look at B. B looks pretty obvious. Look at this. This is one-fourth. Right, this is one fourth. They both look exactly the same, except one happens to be smaller than the other. But the one fourths look exactly the same. But B is incorrect because it needs to be congruent, and they are not congruent. The actual term for this is similar. And you will work on this when you get older into middle school. When shapes are similar, that means they're proportional. They're the same shape, but one is kind of just zoomed in or zoomed out. One is smaller or larger than the other. So we cannot choose B because they're not congruent. Congruent literally means same size, same shape. So A, C, and D are at least congruent because they're the same shape for each of them. A and C are circles. D looks like some rectangles. All right, so now we need to get into the fractional part of it. Now, if we're not really paying attention, we could get fooled by A. So let's take a look at A. A is pretty standard, at least this one on the left. We've got a circle. We've got four parts. So that means we're dealing with fourths. One part is shaded. So one fourth. Now, a is a little bit different, but you know they're not going to be identical like in B. That'd be way too easy because then you would just find the one that's two identical ones. So we're looking for one-fourth shaded in slightly different ways. And if you just look at it, A is in four sections, and one section is shaded, but this is not one-fourth because, so we're going to do this right here, and we're going to put a circle with that little slash right there. This is not one-fourth because these are not equal sections. Remember what we learned in second grade about fractions. Each section needs to be equal, and these are not equal sections. Uh, these two middle parts right here have more space because they're in the middle of the circle than the top and the bottom. So they are unequal sections, which means that that's not even a fraction. All right, so let's check C. Well, C looks like they are fractions, but take a look at this. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five sections. That's one-fifth for each of them. I think what they're expecting you to do is to count it wrong. Think that there's one shaded in section and four white sections. It's not how fractions work, though. So let's hope it's D. Now, these are congruent shapes, but they're shaded differently. I've got four thin vertical lines on D, but I've got one, two, three, four equal sections, and one of them is shaded. Then I've got these horizontal sections right here. They're a little bit uh, fatter, but they're not nearly as long. And there's four sections there, and one of them is shaded. So this section right here is equivalent to this, even though they look different because they're congruent shapes, D.